And welcome to your Go Market Update charts of the day for today, Thursday, the 13th of April 2023. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets, to lead you around what's happening in markets today. US markets closed lower in a choppy session overnight despite a better than expected headline CPI number. Fed minutes suggestive of an increased risk of recession due to those recent bank failures. A US earnings season kicks off, of course, and that may be part of investor thinking. And the IMF delivered a relatively gloomy outlook on what they think may happen going forward. US futures are near neutral in early Asian trading. Asian markets are generally lower. ASX dropped 0.2% to the downside after trading near neutral earlier in the day uh, after jobs and inflation data. The VIX ticked higher, but is still below that 20 support at this stage. The US dollar index pulled back after that CPI in the FOMC minutes is neutral in Asia as FX markets are relatively flat. Our gold remains over 2,000 with small gains yesterday. Copper also gained and may test February highs today if the momentum continues. All broke the short-term tight range to the upside, despite a small build in inventories as reported by the EIA. Bitcoin has paused and holds around that 30,000 level. Just a little bit of a retracement from yesterday at this stage. We've already had Australian jobs and inflation expectations out. Inflation expectations were lower than expected. The jobs numbers were relatively positive but not too hot at this stage the aussie dollar is slightly higher and the asx slightly to the downside as already referenced chinese trade balance german cpi uk gdp and us ppi and weekly jobs make for a really busy day today lots for the markets to digest as well as impending earnings a couple of charts that caught our interest uh let's have a look at the Aussie USD and you can see there there's the Aussie dollar response to that data that came out and we're heading towards the R1 pivot level at 67.27 with a potential upside to possibly 67.65 so around about 40 pips if we break that level. US dollar weakness may contribute to this of course as well as that news coming out of Australia. On the FX side of things, uh, we're looking at LTR again. This continues to look strong after yesterday's breach or key level at 265. We started lower today, but we are up on the day now as buy-in pressure comes into this particular stock. Uh, we've got a price target of $3 on this in the short term. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.